Alright, I'm going to do a little quick keeping breakdown today of when I played under-19s the other week. Now obviously when playing under-19s cricket, it's quite a bit of a test because everyone's older than me, it's a longer pitch, it's a bigger ball, but this game was very interesting because lots of things happened in it that might happen to other people in a span of over two games, but this happened all in one which was pretty crazy, so have a look what happened. So, started off under 19's game normal, it was a T20 so didn't really touch the ball, maybe touched it twice in the first 4-5 overs, that's the similar to when you play seniors and that makes it obviously harder when you get that chance early on and you haven't really touched the ball. As I said before, in junior games you might touch the ball four or even five times in an over, but whilst in senior games or under 19s you might not touch it at all, which makes it even harder in that transition from junior to senior, and how even when that chance comes you might have not touched the ball and it makes that chance a lot harder. So as you can see there, just didn't quite take the ball cleanly, it hit the top of my hand, didn't hit right in the middle of my palm, and obviously it's a bigger ball so I don't have that full grasp over the ball with only my little hands. Um, and even with the bowlers that are taller, bigger, they get a little bit more bounce, which I just guess wasn't just expecting, I just couldn't take it cleanly, but I guess that switched me on a bit for what was to come in the rest of the game. So this is a really interesting one, two wickets in two balls, first one is a massive top edge off a lefty and the second one is a genuine edge off a righty, so let's have a look how these are. So obviously, first one, lefty, top edge, over my shoulder, I've had to run back almost halfway to fine leg, really happy to take that one, but I'll put, some, put up some videos of how often I actually practice this, I do this quite a lot of that catch that goes really high back over my shoulder. So there, as you can see, I practice that loads, especially in pre-season where I'm starting at the stumps, turning back and taking that catch over my shoulder. Now the interesting one, we've all gone off and celebrated, we've just taken the wicket, everyone's back, ready, set, new batsman, let's have a look what happens here. So yeah, full stretch there, I think I've caught that one in the web, I think that is about as far as I can go. Obviously, really, really happy with that catch, opened my body up well, good push off, full stretch, diving to my right, um, obviously really good catch, really happy with that, but again, it's something I train with lots and lots of the time, I practice that so much in pre-season and throughout the season as well. Yeah. 
Gut. If I can get my hand on it, I'll be disappointed if I could if I drop that because you've done all the work to get there and I obviously trained so much to get it and I know when I can catch them and when I can't. So really happy with that. Just to add into the mix, a run out. Um, obviously in T20 people are really trying to push the runs along. Um, they've probably taken a two there that probably wasn't quite there. So the throws coming from the boundary, it wasn't that good Jacob, it, it wasn't that good mate. Uh, it was pretty far away from the stumps, so I've had to move away from the stumps to catch it and then move back to the stumps to take that run out. Let's have a look what happened. As I said before, the throw wasn't that close to the stump, so I had to move away. And something that I'd learned from past experiences in <laughs> throughout the season is that instead of just throwing it without looking or checking where the stumps are, I had a quick glance to where over the stumps were, took the ball, and instead of throwing it just wildly, took the ball cleanly and just safely knocked off the bales. The more I've kept, the more I've realised that it is going to be hard and you're just not going to take everything, it, you're all human, you're not going to get everything correct, you're going to make mistakes. It's a bit like a goalkeeper in football, if you make a tiny error, everyone remembers it, so like if you drop a catch or miss a stumping, everyone remembers it and they don't really appreciate <laughs> you taking the catch when they do it. Hopefully you enjoyed that breakdown. I think it's just about learning that you're not going to get them all and there's going to be some things that you do really, really well, like as you saw some of those catches and there's going to be some of those things that you don't do so well in some games where you just miss a stump in or you might even miss a catch or something like that. So I hope you enjoyed that and I'll see you next time.